A new week begins, not too much change on our trades. You can see New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen. It did open at quite a bit lower to our favor, just about back in profit after the weekend, but has since pushed right back up, now closing about where it did on Friday. Same with the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, ever so slightly against us, but nothing that's causing an impact. On the other charts, Kiwi Cab, that's gone up a tiny bit. If it gets up to this level, that's the sort of region. So if there's a big bump tomorrow, maybe we do get in. The euro US dollar pair has continued pushing. In fact, if we got in at the bottom of this candle, both sub trades were taken profit by now. Mr. Trick there. Same on the dollar Swissy as well. Right at the top there, Thursday night, Friday and Monday, big drops. Not much action on the chart tonight overall though. And no new entries. So we'll just try again tomorrow. Day number seven, and again, not too much difference in our trades. New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, a bit back to the good, but nothing notable. And even more so with the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. And it was another weekday for the dollar. Midterm elections today and inflation data in two days. So potential for big impacts. Dollar weakened against the yen even and does go into oversold territory now. But not really at a good enough support level. Perhaps if it was further down here at the bottom of this region, maybe we'd be looking at it then. We'll see what comes. Same with the New Zealand dollar, US dollar. It has gone overbought on the MFI but certainly not a level worth noting. There was some price accumulation back in April 2020, but that was quite some time ago. Nothing new for day seven. Day number eight now. New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen moves to our direction a bit. And on the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, it came so close to taking profit. Had a nice push on throughout the day in favor of the Aussie D, but back down it's come. Still a little bit of profit, so we will hang on in there. Bit of a strengthening day for the US dollar after a weak period has been coming back. We can see it against the yen, against the New Zealand dollar, pretty even against the Swiss franc. Would have been a really nice trade up here. Didn't have that resistance level, but yeah, very nice indeed. New Zealand dollar, Swiss franc would have come pretty good as well. Could just about call that a resistance level. It's been working so far. Same for the euro CAD back here. What could have been? No new signals. Maybe there will be tomorrow. Day number nine, and we had inflation data out of the US today. CPI report month on month came in lighter than expected, 0.4% against around about 0.6% expected. So rare to see that. We started getting used to those higher than expected inflation prints. Became a regular viewing occurrence. But the lighter touch on this month did shake up the markets a bit. Very strong for stocks, very weak for the US dollar. But let's just look at our trades. New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, that took a dive. Around about 1.3% down, so that's towards our take profit. Happy to see. Just sub trade B still going there, of course. Meanwhile, on the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, we did actually take profit on sub trade A after the swap is taken into account, but expensive. It was $125.19 profit. And it was pretty recent as well for taking profit. We can see on the five minute chart just about 20 minutes ago or so. Pleased with that, still in there for sub trade B, just about halfway there, of course. So, so if it cracks on. On the other charts, as we said, you do see that weakening dollar, euro having a strong day against it, the yen as well. And in fact, the Swiss franc did push enough that it brings the MFI into oversold territory. So, we could be looking for a buy trade, not quite at a support level that we want to see. We've had some accumulation here and here, but I would say let's see if it can trail off over the next couple of days after such a big candle. And if it can settle around about this region here and here, that is where we'd be looking to get in. So we'll keep an eye on that one as there is no other overbought or oversold signals tonight. And of course, we're watching our New Zealand dollar trades pretty closely, about happy with the performance so far. Okay, and we do come bearing good news. It's a win on the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen sub trade B. After the $10 swap, we've taken home $195 from it. Very nice. And we took profit pretty close to the bottom as well. So pleased there. And I don't know why, but the end of the recording yesterday did glitch out. Didn't realize it at the time. But here you can see what happened. We did get into a trade. I'll put the risk on screen now for our two sub trades. This is on the US dollar Swiss franc. It was another really sharp drop. When we were looking yesterday at this level, we were saying, hey, if it came down to around about here or so, but it smashed through that level all the way down to here. And you can see it bounced previously off this region, deeply oversold on the MFI, a reading of 0, 0.00000. So we did jump in on this one to give it a go. It's been such a steep drop off over the last couple of weeks, lost about 6.5% since its previous highs. 
even if it does want to trail down a bit further, that plenty of room for the stop losses. So pretty happy with this trade. And something else that was missed on the recording was how close we were to the bottom on the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen. So this is now the one minute chart I'm showing you. And if we scroll back, you can see right here the lowest one minute candle of the day and towards the bottom of it as well that is where we took profit so some serious good luck there on the new zealand dollar japanese yen but we will take it for a double win there so far so good on some of these trades let's see how the numbers look over in the journal here is the journal looking pretty nice for once usually these strategies are not going so well but so far three green sub trades for us two from the nzd japanese yen one on the aussie new zealand dollar and we've got this us dollar swiss franc trade now looking like it could be quite a good signal but plenty of time to tell on that one does put us into the green 10 days in three trades so not shy on trades either they are rolling in and we have had other options as well that haven't quite been there but pretty pleased with what we're seeing here at the moment swaps getting a little bit expensive we are seeing about 26 dollars a down on them but we're happy to handle those as long as the trades keep coming in as gains all right back at the start next week